Hey folks, this is Vince and Idly with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Civilizations. This is a game for two to five players for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is about 45 minutes. It's worth noting that this is our first time playing the game. I've had this game, I can't tell you, for about, what, three or four months now, and this is the first time I've been able to get to it. Um, if you've played the game CV, then you'll be somewhat familiar with how everything looks. Uh, the art style is very much the same, though the gameplay is a little different. If you've played, say, Civilization 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 on the PC, you might sort of get an idea of what's going on here. Uh, there's three different eras, so to speak, and um, you're going to be getting these cards throughout these eras, and the player with the most happiness points will end up winning the game. You will be earning these resources. Um, each player starts with one food, one wood, and one stone. They also get a deck of cards, and each deck of cards is the same. Um, I just have the blue card, she has the green cards. In a two-player game, there is a third neutral player that we'll be using. And uh, basically, we're going to be using these cards to perform different actions. So, uh, the way a game round typically plays out, this is a quick look at the uh, guide card. There's the order phase, the action phase, the development phase, and the cleanup phase. During the order phase, the player with the first player token, which is this little helmet here, um, they're going to put a card face up, one card face up, and one card face down. Okay, and then the player clockwise from them will do the same thing, and then the next player clockwise will do the same thing. Then, after that, we're going to move on to the action phase. We're going to take a look at each of the possible actions. We'll look at thieving first, and then we'll resolve logging, then hunting, then quarrying. The way that works is, each of these, each of these actions here rep are represented by these different cards. So here's thieving, here's logging, here's hunting, all, all the different actions that you see here. So, um, basically the way this works is, the actions are carried out uh, depending on how many people played the same action as you. Generally, the more people that play the same action as you will uh, receive less of a benefit from it. So, for example, if one person plays thieving, they get to steal one resource. If two people end up uh, playing thieving, like if, there's, if I played a thieving card, and someone else played a thieving car that would be two, then we would steal two resources each from a different victim. We would resolve that in clockwise order starting with the player with the uh, first player helmet there. If three or more people played thieving, then the action does not get resolved at all. And each card is like that. Logging. One player plays logging, that, you know, the one player that played it gets two of these uh, wood pieces. If two people played it, then in clockwise order, whoever played that action will get three wood pieces. And if three or more people played it, then they only gain one each. Hunting, quarrying, cunning, gain a resource. Slacking gets you victory points, which are these happiness tokens here. Trading, changing resources into another resource type. There's doubling, which is basically playing the same card twice. So let's say that I played... Um, Thieving face up and doubling face down, and then we resolve this. Whenever one turns their cards over to compare their hands and see who played what, this thieving would count as two cards, because I played the doubling card along with it. So that would count, count as two thieves. So if I played this, and I'd at least, say, played thieving as well, that would be three thieving cards, and we wouldn't resolve it at all, okay. because the action down here says three or more is nothing. So that's what that's all about. And that's generally what's going to happen. Um, whenever we, at the end of that, at the end of the action phase, um, we can buy these cards with the resources that we have. Again, starting with the player with the helmet. The computer neutral player here does not earn happiness or buy cards or anything like that. The only thing that they're really meant to do is to add cards to the action step to um, sort of add in actions so that, you know, there's, not, there's more than four cards in the mix when comparing actions. But that's all they're really meant to do. But during the development phase, we, we can spend resources to buy these cards. Some give happiness. Um, some, uh, their resource cost is listed here. 
So there's this one costs two wood and one stone. And then it says during the development phase, you can look at the top idea card and buy it. So each of these cards usually has some type of benefit that will benefit you for the rest of the game. So there, there's different cards here. These are the one and two era cards. Um, that's, these are the gray ones with the gray backs. The ones with the blue backs are era three. So the way the eras work is um, as we play two cards, resolve the round, at the end of the round at the cleanup phase, two, the two cards that we played are put off to the side. That leaves these cards remaining. Then we keep going. We play two more, resolve those. Those goes off to the side. New round. Two more cards. When we're down to two cards, that signals the end of the era, and this goes up by one. And then we just we bring the cards back into our hand, and we do that over again. When we get down to two cards again, having played all the rest of them, they move down to three. We discard all of these cards here and deal out the era three cards for that last round, for the era three. And then after that, when we're down to our last two, that ends the game, and whoever has the most happiness wins. Again, this is our first time playing, so um, you know I may have gotten a, a rule wrong or two, but uh, just bear with it. But that's the gist of it. Earn happiness. That's that's it. Okay. So yeah, the reference card is here for those of you curious. There's little icons on the back. This tells you what the the phases are and what the icon iconography means. The rule book is here. Pretty nice little rule book. There's uh, sort of an appendix in the back to help you with some of these cards and what they do. Here's a look at the box insert. Pretty big box for, you know, this is all it is. Just There's other cards in here from the players that we're not using. More happiness tokens, baggies for the other resources. Probably We'll probably draw on these more if we need to, but I have some in the box. Alright, so um, the first player is the computer one in a two-player game, so um, what I'll do is, I'll just, we're on the order phase, so I'm just going to mix these up like so, and then one goes face up and one face down. Doubling and blank. So whatever this card is, is going to be, is going to count as two actions. So now it's your turn. You play a card face up and face down, whatever order that you want. Alrighty then. Yeah. Um... So if you need, basically, if, what you want to do is look at these cards, figure out which one you want, and then try and get the resources for it if you you know yeah. to to buy it. <laughs> okay. But you know that's that's generally. Alright, so I'm gonna try this one. No. This one and this one. Hunting and a face down card. Okay, so here's the thing. I could play hunting. And if there's two hunt if if there if there's a hunting card here that was played twice and she played hunting. That would be three or more, and each player would only gain one food. So I can either, but if two people, if, if uh, this player here did not put down hunting, and she did not put down a doubling card, that would be one hunting. If I put down a hunting, and she had one hunting, then we would each gain three food as opposed to two. So do I want to try and get in on that, or do I think that maybe she played a doubling? Or maybe this might be hunting, I don't know. Um, so let's go with... Now, all these three cards require food, and actually, let me do this, so you guys can actually see what the cards are. I'm going to sort of zoom in on the board a bit, because I know, I know there's a little bit of a glare there, but I'll, I'll still try and point things out. <clears throat> okay, so, let's see. I'm just going to go with, say, this one, and... Uh, this one. Okay, so, um, in player order, we resolve these. So I'm going to flip this one over. This ended up being a trading. Now, when it comes to trading, this, this player does not get resources or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look. At, well, you, you reveal yours too. We all reveal ours. I have logging and slacking. And you have doubling. Look at you. Okay. So we resolve these in the correct order. Thieving is the first one. None of us had thieving. The next one is logging. Uh, the only one that had logging was me. And I get, according to this, only one player play logging. I get two resources. So I get one, two. I get two of these. All right. Next one is hunting. You played hunting. You doubled on that. That's two hunting. So that's worth uh, three food, is it? 
So you get three of the little pack bands there. Uh, four is quarrying. Did anyone play quarrying? No. Five is cunning. No one played cunning. Six, slacking. I played slacking. No one else did. I gained one happiness token. And lastly, trading. The computer played it, doubled on it, but again, he doesn't really do any trade gain resources, so that, that's that. All right, and then finally, the development phase. Uh, in player order, starting with this marker here, the first player helmet, they buy cards. The computer doesn't do that in a two-player game. So you get to go now, and you get to buy a card if you want to. Okay, so I get to buy a card if I want if, to. Yeah, if you have the resources. I yeah. don't have any resources. Okay, well, yeah, because you need two wood, two wood. You've got the food, but not enough wood. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's my turn. Do I want to buy anything? Um, I need two food for these. This is I could buy this fortune telling. During the development phase, you can look at the top card and buy it. Do I want to do that? Um, at you the know, top card of what? Of uh, this deck. Oh, cool. So instead of looking at just these, I can look at this and decide whether or not I want to buy it. Mm. That as you know, mm -hmm. in it, instead of one of these cards. Mm. Um, you know, I'm not going to buy anything. And then that leaves the cleanup phase. So these go into the discard pile. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think there's anything else that goes along with that cleanup phase. Uh, nope. The player helm goes to you. Okay. And this goes in the discard pile. So now it uh, you get to play one face up, one face down. Mm. And what you, cho what you choose will affect what I do, probably. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Whatever you put face <laughs> up, I'm going to have to factor that in. Mm -hmm. Mm. I know that she's already played this. So, the only other player that could possibly play it is the luck of the draw over here, but we'll have to see. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking. No, no, that's... that's you're playing a game, we're allowed to think. How dare you think? <laughs> you're supposed to just play cards randomly and not think about anything. <laughs> oh, man. There's a little bit of bluffing. Yeah, there is. <laughs> trying to think what you're going to play, what I'm going to play, what I put face down. The computer player is random. Mm. We don't know what they're going to pick, but we can see their face up card. Assuming they're not the last one taking a turn. Because mm -hmm. you go, I go, and now he goes last. So it's just whatever he draws. Slacker and a face down. Okay, so I already played my slacker and she knows that. So there's a good chance that she'll get a victory point for that. And, you know, and if the computer happens to play a slacker on, on top of that, she'll get two. Because her doubling card for this computer opponent has already been played. So there's no risks to her at all right now. There's no possible way that there could be three or more cards up for slacking because uh, they play their double down. There's a slacking somewhere in here. I already played my slacking. So yeah, only two could possibly come up for that. So that's a safe bet for her. And then I'll do... Um, I will do... I don't think it really matters to put it face down because the computer doesn't calculate their guess based on what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to do this and this. I'm just going to put these face up. And then the computer is going to go, I'm just going to put these face up too. Thieving and slacking. That's actually good for her because now she gets like more points. Okay, so the first one is thieving. The computer does not steal as far as I know. Um, does the computer steal? Mm -hmm. They do not perform their actions. They do not take or steal actions, or steal resources, nor buy ideas. Okay, so they do not thieve. Mm -hmm. So, the only person that thieved was him. Second is logging. You did logging. You're the only one that did logging, yeah. so you get two of these wood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is hunting. I did hunting, no one else did hunting, so I get two food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fourth is quarrying. No one did quarrying. Five is cunning. I did cunning. No one else did cunning. I gained one resource of my choice. 
I will take, um, I will take, uh, metal. Uh, six is slacking. The computer played, it doesn't get anything. You played slacking, there's two slacking cards out, so you get, uh, two of these happiness for the end of the game. Basically, they're, they're hit victory points, is what they are. All right, and lastly, trading. No one did any trading. Okay, so these go off into the discard pile, and these go into the discard pile, uh, yeah. And then, starting with you, you get to buy something. Um, uh, oh, let's just read this one. Oh, absolutely. You, they're upside down for you, so yeah. take what you need. You can buy one idea card, no more. So, whatever one you want. Per turn. Uh, if you have any questions about a card, I've got the back of the rule book here. What are the happiness things? That's just, whenever you buy a card, you get a happiness token with it. Mm. It's worth one happiness at the end of the game. Mm. Okay. So, this one's worth two? Two victory points at the end of the game, yes. Might get. That's actually nice. That hideout. Yeah. In order, in the order phase, you can play both cards face down, so no one knows what you're doing. Optimism. When you do a three-person plus action, gain one resource. Vacation once per turn. When you do slacking, gain one extra happiness. But you could use it for a future turn. Like we get these cards back at some point. So during the second and third era, when you play slacking. Mm -hmm. You could use it then. I can't buy it though. Oh, because of the two food, <laughs> yeah. two, two, two st stone. stone, yeah. All right, so uh, which one was that one again? That was during oh, the yeah. development phase. You can look at the top card and buy it if you want. I'll get the the hideout. The hideout. Okay, so two food and two wood. And this is for the whole game. Yes. Oh, not bad. Mhm. Mm All right, and now I get to buy one if I want. Um, Do I get two victory points? Yeah, we'll just instead of giving you tokens, we'll just we'll count those in at addition. The end? Yeah, at the end of the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I could do once per turn when you do slacking. Or I don't like any of these cards, but <laughs> I need to start buying stuff pretty soon. Um. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall behind here. All right, I'll go ahead and do um. I'll go ahead and do vacation. That's two food and two stone. And I get happiness at the end of the game for that. Once per turn, when you do slacking, successfully gain one extra happiness point. Or well, one happiness token. All right, computer doesn't buy anything. Um, and now we refresh this. Stoicism and fishing rod. Stoicism says at the end of a turn, when you bought no ideas, gain two resources of a single type. So you get resources if you don't buy anything. Fishing rod, when you do cunning successfully, take one resource of your choice. Okay, so now this comes to me. Mm -hmm. um, and now I get to do one face up and face down. I will go ahead and do, now see, here's the thing. She still has this, I know she does. And so does the NES. Okay, so that card is likely to come up, but I need it. Um, that might be useful. Mm -hmm. Or I could tr I could do this one, and the way this works is um, change one resource of any type into three of other types. So the less people play this, the more you get. The more it's played, the less you get. But I may not play that, I don't know. I've got four cards, so there's a one in four chance I will play it. And I still have this, but this is where the odds start coming in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do, I have a feeling, see, there's a the thing. Well, only one card has two stone. This has one stone, these don't require any. So she may not play this to gain it because there's no really any cards. The only, re she has one stone already and I know she can hear me. <laughs> she has one stone already. So she can buy this card, this card, and this card, but not this card. She needs one more. She would only need to play this card 
if she were going to try and buy this one. So, yeah. So the chances of that being played by her is nil, but she could, she could play it anyway, just to throw me off. Who knows? Um, all right, let's do... <laughs> this one and... Okay, so I'm going to play... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do um, this face up, trading face up, and this one face down. And now the computer goes, plays face one cunning, and one face down. And now Ida Lee gets to go. Hmm. Knowing that she knows that I know that she knows that I know, she might choose to do that. However, knowing that she knows that I know that she knows that I know that she knows. Two cards face down because of the hideout <laughs> ability? Yep, you got it. Okay, so yeah, you can reveal them now, um, and then we'll resolve them in order. <laughs> Trading and cunning, look at that. And Okay, quarrying here. Alright, so um, we'll start with the first one. Thieving, did anyone thieve? No. Logging. Did anyone log? No. Three. Hunting. Did anyone hunt? No. Four. Quarrying. I did quarrying. The computer did quarrying. That's two. So that's two cards. I gained three of these resources. Good. All right. So that's three for me. Um, next is cunning. The computer played it. You played it. Mm -hmm. So you get to gain two resources of any kind you want. I would like... Was it two resources? Yep, two resources of anyone you want. I don't, I don't think they have to be of the same kind either. Okay. I don't think so. So any, any two resources, I think. Uh, can I read all these again? Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. Whatever you need. Or I can read them off whatever you want. Uh, uh. Sorry. No, you're fine. What's an idea card? These. The These are ones. ideas. Yeah. And that one's the deck one? Yes. Basically, it gives you more buying options. Yeah. I will get... Oh, uh... oh my gosh, this is difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too many choices, huh? There is. Oh my gosh. You got this. When it, when it says cunning successfully, what does that mean? That means whenever in cunning, um, I I think that means. Does it mean either of these, or does it have to be I the middle? I don't one? know what successful means. Um, I'm guessing that means whenever you play it, but I don't know if it means successfully. I mean, I know if you don't get anything, that's unsuccessful. Which one? Was that the fishing rod? Mm -hmm. That was number nine. And of course, number nine is not on here. Really? Well, oh, here it is. Fishing rod. Doubling in order, which... Oh, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what successful means. I'm sure there might be a term for it here in the rule book. Maybe. But... Uh, I'm going to keep browsing the rule book while you think it over. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, my two resources I'm going to get are a wood and an iron. Okay, that's cool. Or uh, a wood and stone. Excuse me. I'm just going to, I'm going to house rule it until I get it a direct answer. Okay. Whenever you play, whenever you just play it, I think. Okay. I, I successful. I mean, to me, I mean, there's no. What way could it not be played successfully? That's what I'm trying to figure out. The and what, third one, the third option. But cunning all, is always successful. Be, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The third cunning is nothing. Mm -hmm. So if one player, yeah, if it if it's only one player plays it or two people play it, That's then it's successful. Okay. If the three or more play it, then nothing happens. It's not successful. Okay. So yes, if one if one or two cards are, of cunning are played and you have the fishing rod, you get to take an additional resource of any type. Okay. All right, there we go. 
I just I thought it was like only one. Like if you only get one one of those options, which is the most, yeah. that is successful. Yeah. yeah. It's just if you gain a resource. If you don't, then it doesn't fa it doesn't oh. kick in. That's fine. Just wanted to clear that up. No, nah, it's cool. No, good question. <laughs> All right. This is that's the reason for these first games. So we so you got your resources for cunning, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Slacking, uh, no one slacked, and trading. I have trading. You've got trading. Mm -hmm. It gets resolved in order, starting with this. So uh, I get to change, since there's two trading cards, change one resource into two of one other type. So I could trade in a wood, for example. I'm going to trade in a wood and take two food. Okay, and now you get to do the same thing. The computer doesn't do that. He didn't have trading anyway. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix these back all together because this was the last... These, these, there's only two cards left now. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and just give these a good shuffle. I kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> but I <I'm gonna laughs> have to. Well, right. I don't... It, you don't have... I mean, it's up to you if you want to take it or not. I mean, I don't think you have to take it. <laughs> well, think of it this way. What what resource do you want the least of? Or what what resource is required the most of right now? Yeah. Okay. I will trade one of these for two food. Okay. Sure. Okay, so now in clockwise order, starting with me, we get to buy cards if we want. <laughs> so... <laughs> Fishing rod, when you cunning successfully, that is kind of cool. Optimism, when you do a three plus person action, gain plus one, gain one resource of any type. Stoicism, at the end of a turn when you bought no ideas, gain two resources of a single type. Fortune telling. I'm going to go with the fishing rod on this one. <laughs> and I will pay two food and one wood. That's all right. That's okay. And you get to, computer doesn't buy anything. You wanted that fishing pole or fishing rod. Yeah, that's right, though. I get stoicism. Stoicism. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, end of the cleanup or the cleanup phase. We draw more here. There's the tower and law. Because these were the last two cards in our hand, we're going to go ahead and put them back into our hand. This arrow marker goes down to number two. And also, oh, we, we don't play those last two cards. No, we do not. I would have changed my whole strategy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. um, so now the tower, at the end of the game, you can change up to three wood into one happiness each. And the happiness is equal to whatever that conversion is. Mm -hmm. So it means if you have three, let's say I have at the end of the, if I have this card and I have two wood at the end of the game, uh -huh. I can turn those two wood into two happiness tokens. Oh, okay. So like if you had six wood, you can turn into Up two. to three. Oh, up to three. Okay. Yeah. A max of three. Oh, okay. 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 The law, the other new card that came out, at most one resource of any type can be stolen from you per turn. So let's say one player plays thieving and another player plays thieving. Someone steals off you, the other person steals off you. This only per that only happens once. I see. So it's a defensive card. Okay. All right, so now this computer is there. Okay, so now we're there. Um, now the computer is going to put one face up Cutting one face down. Okay. And that stinks for me because cunning. <laughs> okay, so now you get to put one... F well, actually, you've got that hideout. So now you can, you can just put two face down if you want. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> this is very interesting. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Slightly there. There we go. I'm going to. Sorry. No, I take can't. your time. Don't be sorry. <laughs> I just don't want to waste the battery. Oh, <laughs> it can be charged. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. 
<laughs> Put that on the box. <laughs> oh my god, it's so difficult! Ida Lee, yeah. Dad's Gaming Addiction. Alright, um, let's go with... All right. I'm just guessing. Cunning, the only card I know that was played is Cunning. So, trying to play Cunning is risky for the fishing rod, so I may not play that. And I can talk out loud here because I'm the last person taking this turn, so it doesn't matter. Um, no one's depending on my play to make their decision. So, slacking this vacation looks kind of nice, assuming she didn't play it. Um, cunning, definitely out. Trading, I don't think I need to trade because I could buy the tower right now if I wanted to. I don't need to trade anything. So I think maybe resource collection might be the way to go here. Maybe some food or some wood, maybe, something like that. So maybe I'll go ahead and do, um, I'll play logging face up and uh, hunting. I could play, I have to play one face down, but it doesn't matter because we're revealing them anyway. All right, so we're going to reveal. There's trading and cunning. And yours were... Trading Whoa! Look at you! Okay. Dang. That was crazy. All right. Dang. That's all right. No, you did good with your cunning, though. Yeah, but the trading. I wanted to be the only one with trading. Well, you still get to change that into two resources of any type as opposed to one. Yeah. Okay, so Sorry. thieving. Anyone do thieving? No. No. Logging. I did logging. I'm the only one. I got two resources. So I'm going to go ahead and take two wood. Next up is hunting. Anyone? I did hunting. Mm -hmm. I get two food. I'm the only one that did hunting, and I got lots of resources. Mm -hmm. uh, quarrying, no one did quarrying. Cunning, you did cunning, the computer did cunning. So you get to gain two resources of any kind. And make sure you remember what uh, special abilities you have, because yeah. I don't. Okay. I, I got it. This is not an idea card, right? All of them, I think, are idea cards. Are really? They? Are they? I think they're all idea cards. I thought there was the, just the orange ones. Uh, let me see. Um, no, they're all idea cards. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Except for the, which ones are not idea cards? They're all idea cards, all of them. There's five sets of eight order cards, uh, and 32 idea cards for ages one and two, and 16 idea cards for age three. But it says at the end of the turn when you bought no ideas. That means that if you decide not to buy anything. Oh! So if you don't buy a card at all, oh. you get to take more resources. When do you refill the, the thing? This Whenever, thing? at the end of the round. At it, the end of every round? Well, meaning like it... At the end of the cleanup phase? At the cleanup phase, if there's any empty spots, you fill them in. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We don't discard any. It's not like CV where they fall off the track. Okay, I see. It's just whenever they're taken, you fill them at the end of the round. Okay, that's what was confusing me. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Otherwise, it'd be like arrows telling me which direction the track goes, yeah. and I don't see that here. Okay. All right, so for cunning, I get two resources. I will gain, I will get, um, I'll get two, two stone. Okay. Uh, slacking? No? Trading. Mm -hmm. You get to do, you get to trade in one for two, if you want, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, um, it's so tough. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is. It totally is. Um, I will do one wood for, uh, two food. Okay, cool. See what happens. Awesome sauce. I'm going to put these off to the side. Uh, we buy cards in order. Uh, this player doesn't do any. So you get to buy a card if you want. If you don't, that one special ability kicks in stoicism. Yeah. You could buy tower or law. You've got food and stone. This requires wood. This requires wood. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get law. Law. Okay. For defense. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. I gotta trust you. <laughs> uh, of course you don't. Who would trust this face? Okay, um, I will go ahead and buy the... Uh, I like the tower. Good. The tower! 
The Tower of Rapunzel! Rapunzel! <laughs> it's an airplane reference for those of you that... Never mind. Johnny from Airplane? No? Okay. Alright, so now at the end of Phase 4, clean up. These go off to the side. We refill this track. One, two. Sword and Consumerism. The sword, once per turn, when you do thieving successfully, you steal one extra resource from one of your victims. Consumerism, at the end of the game, gain two happiness if you don't have any resources. So if you use all your resources at the end of the game, then you get two extra happiness. Oh, wow. But it's also worth two, I believe, mm -hmm. to begin with. Was this say communism? Consumerism. Oh. <laughs> Close enough, right? <laughs> Consumerism, <laughs> communism. <laughs> yeah. <Right down. laughs> it's under the same heading, no problem, no. They both start with C's. And same thing. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, these go into the discard pile. Yeah. We refilled that, and now this moves to you. Are we allowed to see, like, each other's cards? Yeah, here, I'll do that. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly, I didn't really read that, but I mean, I don't see why not. Mm. Um, let's see if it says it in the... Uh, I'm looking. Mm -hmm. no worries. But yeah, you, you think, while you're thinking, I will look that up. Some orders are unsuccessful and have no effect if they were chosen by three or more players. That answers that previous question. I see. And executing an order's effect is mandatory, so you have to do it. Wait, what? If, if you, <laughs> for trading. If you don't want to trade, you have to. If you put, it, if you put the trading card oh, on, yeah, you have to okay. trade. Yeah. That's another thing that I wasn't sure about. Okay, I figured. At the end of the action phase, all players turn their played orders face down on the table. So these, you have to memorize. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you one look. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. It is, isn't it? You gotta remember what was played. All right, good to know for future reference. You oh just my face god, like... I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my memory stinks. You're gonna beat me now. Oh no, not at all. Okay, all right, we got this. <laughs> sure. This is that makes the game harder. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh -huh. It makes it so. I'm just gonna put down two of whatever. I'm yeah, I'm just like whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Forget strategy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, so it's my turn. Yeah, okay. it is. You get Sorry. to play one. Oh no, two face down because oh, of your ability. Man, that's a nice ability that you got there. Which one? The face down card thing. Yeah, man. Oh. I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> that's useful. Whew. All right, I'm going to play. Oh man, I don't know which one to play. <laughs> I'll play. Um. Okay, we'll do this one and. Okay. Okay, now I get to put something down. Alright, so what do I need? Um, I'm thinking, I know that this was played by that person. So, and that person. So, by playing this, that will kick in. So I know that that's going to be successful. So I'm going to just I'm going to play this face up. Uh, trading. Let's look kind of here. Oh yeah, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go with. What was played? My hands are so sweaty. Are they? I'm so nervous. Is it that nervous it's now? It's so cutthroat. <laughs> it is, isn't it? You have so many more. Well, here's the thing. I, I know that the other two played this already. So I could play this and change one into three. So I may do that. I'm going to play trading. Ooh. All right. Now the computer plays one. Well, these go face up now anyway. Quarrying and doubling. Oh. <laughs> so now that, that counts as two quarry cards. And you flip yours over. Did you play quarry? quarry? Oh. Yeah. Logging and, and quarrying. Okay, so number one is thieving. No one's played thieving yet. Never wants to be nice. Number two <laughs> is logging. You played logging. You're the only one that did, so you two get wood? two wood. There you go. Next up is hunting. No one played hunting. Four is quarrying. One, two, three. Each player gets one. So you get one stone. 
four coring. Five is cunning. I'm the only one that played cunning. I gained one resource. But because of fishing rod, when you do cunning successfully, take one resource of any type. So I get two, in effect. Nice. So I will take... Um, well, and actually, I'm not going to take stone because I know both quarrying cards are used. So that, that, that actually helps me out. So I'm not going to take stone because I know that I can get it. So um, I'm going to take a food and I get one more because of the fishing rod. I will take what resource? Wood is used more right now than anything else. I'm going to take a wood. All right. And slacking. No one played slacking and trading. I played trading. I'm going to trade in a, no, I'm going to trade in, I got to do it. I have to change one into three. I'm going to go ahead and do, now I've got this tower. At the end of the game, you can change up to three wood into one happiness each. I'm going to start trying to save up for that now. I'm going to take one food and take three wood. Ooh. That way I can still spend wood and maybe have some at the end of the game for, re, for victory points. Okay. So these go into a discard pile. These go into a discard. Remember what we played? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, and now we can buy in order. So you get to buy one first if you want, because you're, you've got that. Check. Communism over there. <laughs> <laughs> My dad will have that. Very interesting. Whoa. Whoa. I want to suck your blood. Whoa. Optimism, Captain. You know what? That's a Phlox quote from Enterprise. Star Trek Enterprise. Optim <laughs> oh, the kids. <laughs> Kids these days. Kids these days. I don't know! <laughs> I don't know! Put that on the box, I'm telling you! This is so difficult! Alright, um... You hear that, Grana? Put that on the box. I don't know! <laughs> oh, man. Game, action, game one. But then, if I do that... Seven, and then I get... I'm always so bad luck. Then I, you know what? No me gusta. No me gusta at all. <laughs> so you're gonna just take two resources from your stoicism? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I am. I put up my wood. Uh, I, I'm just gonna buy a card, I think, but still. I'll put more wood out. Oh, that's stone. I'm thinking though. I'm still thinking. Well, take your time. That's alright. This is hard. Um, I will get... <laughs> okay, stone. Okay. Just in case. My turn to buy something. I will take, um, I will say, I'm tempted to play optimism, mm -hmm. Captain. I'm going to take fortune telling to oh. give myself more options. Nice. That's two, two wood and a stone. All right. Now, at the end of that, we, vegetarianism, five food. Four happiness at the end of the game. Not no special effect. It's just, ha just ha victory points. This comes to me. All right. So now um, I've got these to play. I know I can get away with this one because they've already played these. But I may want to do this. My own. So, <laughs> but I might want to do. But I got. So I may do. Um, um, I'm gonna do. I know that they know that, that none of them have quarrying. I'm going to play that face up. They don't know what this is, so I'm going to play this face down because other people still have it. So that's, that's it. Now, after this turn is over, these cards go away, just FYI, and yeah. era three cards come out. Yeah. So this is the last chance to buy any of these. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, before you do that... Uh oh. Well, it doesn't matter. It's face down. Well, yeah. Well, this, may, ch this uh -oh. may change what you pick. Slacking face up, something else face down. If 
if you pick slacking. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna slacking and logging. Okay. Quarrying and slacking. <laughs> thieving and hunting. Look at you. All right, so thieving. You get to, no one else did thieving, and you can steal one resource. You can take it from any player, in this case it's me, so you, you, what do you want, food or wood? I will take food. Food. There you go. There's some food. Um, next up is logging. Only the computer did logging. Three is hunting. You did hunting. You get two wood, or two, two food. food. Look at you. Wow! I know what your card we're going to get. Uh, quarrying. I'm the only one that did quarrying, so I get two stone from that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next up is cunning. No one did cunning. Five is cunning. I already said that. Six is slacking. Um, I'm, well, there's slacking here and slacking here. Two. So two happiness. However, vacation. Once per turn, when you do slacking, successfully you gain one extra. Whoa. So I get three happiness instead of two. Nice. So I'm going to take a times three token here. Okay, and lastly is trading. I don't see any trading. Okay, so that ends that. These go over here. You, I went first. So I, I buy a card yep. and you buy a card. Okay, so I will buy... You can also look at the first one. I card. can, absolutely. Well, let's see what that is. Ooh. Well, I can't look at it right. I don't think so. Uh, ooh, I like this. I'm gonna buy it. Ooh. How are you? Ah. <laughs> you you took my food. <laughs> I wanted canine domestication. Domestication. Well, I'm just. It doesn't matter because these are going away now. Oh. This is the last round for these cards. Oh. Round three. Yeah. So what it's canine it? domestication. Let's pretend when you do it too. I could turn one wood wow. into happiness. Wait, wouldn't that, wouldn't that kind of... Well, as long as I've got three for tower, it doesn't matter. If I have a ton oh, of wood. Wow. That would have worked for me. But, yeah. <laughs> so I can't buy this because I don't have two food. Mm -hmm. Curse you, thieves. <laughs> um, I will do... The only one you can get is the sword. Well, I'll, I can take consumerism. Oh, that's right, two food. Yeah, well, I could do the sword. I could just not buy anything. You know what? I'm not buying anything. I'm going to save these resources for mm -hmm. era three. Cool. You get to buy something if you want. You're going to buy the veg yes. vegetarianism. Yes. Okay, so five food. That's four victory points for you in the game. That's actually really good. These cards now go away. I'm just going to put them on top here. And new ones come out for the next round, and I'll read them off in a minute. I'm totally drenching your cards. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. I love that. Oh, no. I can't wait. Oh, no. Yay. All right, so these go back into my hand. These go back here. Um, and let me go ahead and mix these up. There are three. Okay. So um, we've got four new cards from Era 3 now. Tourism. At the end of the game, gain two happiness if you have the most house, the blue ones, the uh, blue cards. Uh, internet, two food, three wood, three happiness. Mm -hmm. Tablet, two happiness. Board game, three happiness. Okay. More resources that you need, but, yeah, lots of food apparently. Mm -hmm. All right. Computer starts, face up, hunting, face down, whatever. Cool. So now you get to pick... Two face down. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. I may do that one. Yeah. Depending on which. Well, I, I don't know what she's going to do, so. I might as well plan mine anyway. I'm not going to play. <laughs> well, I could.
because there's a good chance she's not going to play those because she's already got that. So I'm going to play, I'm just going to play these face up because I'm going to last. Cunning and quarrying. So this is cunning. You had what? Hunting, trading. Look at you. Okay, so first off, thieving. No one thieves. Two is logging. No logging. Three, hunting. You had hunting, he had hunting. So that's uh, three food that you get. Look at that. Next up, we've got quarrying. I did quarrying, no one else did quarrying. I get two resources, two stone. Okay. And five is cunning. Cunning, cunning, no one else did cunning. So I get two plus, that's slacking. What was it? When you do cunning successfully, take one resource. So I get three resources. Nice. I'm taking all food because I need food. <laughs> Game reviewer needs food badly from Gauntlet. Gauntlet reference, people? No? Okay, fine. Uh, she's shaking her head. Slacking. <laughs> no one did slacking, and seven is trading. You did trading. You get one to three, so one resource for three. And in the meantime, I'm going to put these into a discard pile. One for three. Yep, one for three. Assuming I can... Man. Mm -hmm. Alright, I will do... One of these for three more food. Okay, there you go. Look at you. You and your food. <laughs> I get to buy one. Um, internet gives me three victory points here. If I have the most, how the most blue cards, we're tied right now. Mm -hmm. I'd have to buy another one. I can also look at the top card and see what this is. Um, the end of the game, getting too happy to be the most. That might actually. It's also even. This is um, this card there, the color, these colors here. So I could buy that, but that would, so that feeds into this. That's weird. Blah. Blah. Um, you know what? I am going to... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy tourism. Did you put this in the wrong side? Oh yeah, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, my bad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and trade in four stone here and one wood for. I just killed happiness tokens. I'm sorry, Mr. Happiness. And I'll take tourism. All right. And which ones do I need to observe? Okay, this is end of game. This is end of game. This is during the game. This, okay, these are end game. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just organizing. OCDing, right? Uh, yes, I'm OCDing. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing all the OCDs. Um, so now we refill. Did I, do I get to buy? Oh, yeah. Did you, <laughs> didn't, didn't you buy? No, you went first. You bought first, right? I didn't buy. Did Oh, did I skip you by accident? Yeah. I did. Okay, did you want that? <laughs> no. No, seriously. I can't, I can't get it. Why? Because you bought first. I shouldn't have bought first. Why? Because the computer player buys, then you buy, then I buy. It goes clockwise. So if you wanted this, oh, I'll, I'll take my I would, I would, I would, I'm not going to be able to afford it anyways. Four stone? Yeah, yeah, you don't have it. No. I will, however, get this one. The board game? Yeah. Three food, two stone. Three food, two stone. That's for three happiness at the end of the game. No special ability. Nope. Don't need it. Right, that. <laughs> okay. Um, so now new cards come out. Highway and Stock Exchange. This is what I was looking at. Mm -hmm. At the end of the game, gain two happiness if you have the most yellow cards. Which now we're even again. Uh, stock Exchange over here. At the end of the game, you can change up to three sets of food, stone, and wood into two happiness each. So basically, if I trade a set of this in, I get two happiness for it. 
if I were to get that card. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so now it's you get to play two cards face down, basically. And I'm going to look at my, see what I'm going to do here. Um, I can't do that one because that requires stone. Um, that was not played. That was not played. That was played, I think. No, that was played. I'm going to do that one for, yeah, that one. And I could do that one for stone if I needed to, or I could do that one for that, or... <laughs> See, that, that could still be played at some point. Okay. Because that would play into that one. But, so, alright, I'm going to go ahead and do um, this one. Alright, so these, I'm just going to put them face up and face down, face up. Slacking and doubling. Ooh, good thing I didn't do that. <laughs> Okay, so first, thieving, of course, because thieving. Mm -hmm. um, only one person thieved, so you get to steal one resource from me. I'm going to steal your food. Food. <laughs> Thank Jerk you. face. Okay, <laughs> next is logging. We both did logging. We each gained three wood. One, two, three. One, two, three. Look at all that. Uh, next up is hunting. I did hunting. No one else did hunting. I gained two food. Mm -hmm. Next up is quarrying, nope, cunning, nope, slacking, nope, and trading. That was it. it? So these go into the discard pile. You get to buy first, if you want to. Mm -hmm. If not, you gain resources because of that one card that you got. Stoicism, I think. I'm going to get the highway. Highway. Mm -hmm. What is that ability? At the end of the game, gain two... Uh, additional uh -huh. if you have the most circle thingies, the yellow ones. That is the yellow cards. Okay, so I need to make sure I got more yellow than you. Or if we're tied, as long as we're tied. Yeah, so that's four. One. Four food, one stone. Okay. I will, t let me look at the top card and see what it is. I don't have enough for it, but that's what that is. <laughs> nice. That's, that's a play on SimCity, by the way, for those of you curious. Oh. Um, at least that's what I think it is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I could do that if I get stone. But I'd have to, I'd have to find a way to get stone to actually make that worthwhile. Because I'm already giving this up. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to buy, um, I'm going to do, see, I need these for the end of the game. I don't want to spend too much of that. But, do I have any cards that can gain that? I could do that to get some if I need it. Alright. Um, you know what? Let's just go with the tablet. It's three food. One, two, three. And that'll earn me two victory points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Simple, straightforward. Okay. So, new cards. There's Megalopolis. Five stone, four happiness at the end of the game. And that's a Godzilla attacking that. Feminism. Two food, two wood, two stone, four victory <laughs> They're points. They're all equal. <laughs> they are equal, get it? <laughs> there's, th there's, no, there's no discrimination of resources there. They're all the same. They cost all the same. That's awesome. I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Best if we don't. <laughs> okay, so um, I get to play one face up and one face down. Yeah. All right, now this is probably going to be the last one of the game. So what am I going to do? Um, I'm thinking maybe this and this. Because I know this was played by that person already. So I'm going to play that face up. And if I need to... I, well, see, I need... The only cards I can afford... See, here, yeah. I need to get... All right, I'm going to put that face down. All right. Oh, uh, well, do you want to look at these before you do that? Uh, no. All right. Quarrying and face down, it's thieving. Mm. All right, so face up. Thieving! Did anyone thieve? Um, he did, but that doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Logging. 
log no hunting no quarrying no <laughs> cunning you did cunning i doubled it you doubled it so you get two resources good job i will get um I will get two iron. Okay, two stone, two iron, same two thing. Stone. Two <laughs> gray stuff. And did anyone slack? I did. I slacked, I gained one, plus when I do cunning successfully, I take one resource of any kind. So I will take, um, well I get, oh, that's cunning. Vacation, that's it, slacking. When I do uh, slacking successfully, gain one extra, that, that makes more sense. All right, so I get two instead of one. Wait, why did you get? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Vacation, right, yeah. And then uh, next up is trading. Um, I get to trade one in for two, three of another type. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and do one wood for three stone. Oh, I know what you're going for. <laughs> and that's it. I think. Okay, so now we buy cards. Mm -hmm. um, I can afford the internet, I can afford feminism, or I can afford the stock exchange. At the end of the game, you can change up to three sets into two each. So I could do one set, two set, three set, one set, two set, three set, and still have some left over for the tower card. So that's worth six points there. You know what? Well, no, because I have to buy the card. I'd have to buy it, and I wouldn't have any stone. So that wouldn't work. Whatever I... Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so it's either feminism... Or... Well, I don't have enough for Megala... Or the internet. To mess with her... Well, not that she could buy feminism. I she has no food. Mm -mm. Um, well, let me look at the top card and see if it's something I'd want. I couldn't take it anyway because it requires three food. Cinematography. At the end of the game, gain one happiness for every two cards I have. Interesting. Um, at the end of the game, I get this if I have the most houses. I have to... Here's the thing. She has... She's got the highway, which... Well, um, even if I buy a blue one, we're still going to be tied in blue cards. So I'm not going to get that bonus. Do you have any bonuses like the most of? At the end of the game, get two uh, happiness for if you have the most yellow cards. Which we're we tied. Have, and you're not going to get... Okay, so we're going to be tied anyway. All right, I'm going to have to take, say, feminism for four points. Uh, so that's two food. So I'm just going to buy this up. And... Take that. Okay. And now you get to buy a card. You're going to take two resources? Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything. Okay. Stoicism. Mm -hmm. No, but that's the end of the game, though. You, just, you know that. Oh. Wait, this, that's it? Well, yeah, we well, I... Another round? No, because we're down to our last two cards, remember? <gasps> Do you want to take that back? Oh, no, because I can't afford anything. <laughs> oh, that's right. You couldn't have anyway. Oh, yeah. so no more. Yeah, there's that. <gasps> Okay, that's fine. That's okay. All right. That's all right. So I'm going to put these off to the side. <laughs> Extra resources don't count. <laughs> Not that I believe, no. Uh, let's just make sure, though. Oh, that was fun. This game definitely needs to go off. You on. like it? Yeah. I wanted to use up all the cards. All right. <laughs> I know you did. All right. So I've got... Let me count these up. Um, this is four, five... Darn, I should have went for two six. food then. <laughs> I don't have the most houses, which is blue. So six, seven, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten here. And I get to turn three of these in for one victory point each. That's 13, 14, plus 15, 16, 17. I've got 20 points counting these here. I've got 20. I have 14, 15, 16. 
So, so 20 like, to 16. That's not too bad. Not you sure bad. you got 16? Yeah. Okay. I would have had 19 if I chose to bought that. Oh. If I used the resources better. Gotcha. But you still would have beat me. Good job. Good job. Did you, so you would play this again? Oh, yeah. In a heartbeat. I would, honestly, I would, um, I would put these little uh, third ones, like, really tough. Like, um... You lose something, or what? Like, okay, for this one... I would say, like, everyone else but you gains one. Oh, man. Down. That would be tough. That would be rough. That would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Rage quit the game now. Go outside. Throw yourself into a gutter somewhere. <laughs> give one of your resources. Right. Like, all those nothings. Yeah. Just, like, give just lose them. all your resources. <laughs> <laughs> Seek help. <laughs> Un uninstall Windows on your PC right now. <laughs> God. <laughs> That was fun. But yeah, I love the art style, very similar to CV. Um, it's not a, it's not really a civilization game like I thought it was going to be. It's not like you're growing through the age of Stone Age into the modern age, <laughs> information age. You're not doing that. You're just getting cards, you know, to gain points in some way. But it's, it's very family friendly. I love it. Mm -hmm. I really do. I do too. And I like, I like the addition. Uh, the addition of a third person over here was br really easy to do. I didn't really have to think about that. The only thing that sucked about it was the randomness. But at the same time, it was still fun to play. I liked the randomness. It gave it, like, a little bit. Of right. It, it gave, yeah, there was a little bit of luck. Yeah. Strategy. But your strategy of getting that one card where you had to put two face down, yeah. that gave you a, a bit of an edge, I think. Because yeah. you, I couldn't base my decisions on what you were doing. Mm -hmm. I can only base my decisions on what was played here mm -hmm. and what you've already played over there. So, yeah. Um, I liked your, your cards that had gain extra resource if you if you did a successful yeah that was that was time. ridiculous yeah that is i like that <laughs> but right. it's it balanced pretty well i thought yeah yeah it did so uh that was uh civilizations get it because it's a play on civilizations oh, get it oh, 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 my gosh. oh my gosh harxers and she's doing her hair <laughs> <laughs> She already looks beautiful, folks. Don't you agree? Civilization. I'm embarrassing her. Civilizations. Awesome game. Go check it out. I think you can get it on Amazon still for about 20, 30 bucks, depending on, you know, who's selling it at that point in time. Really good game. I highly recommend it. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. <laughs> and I believe... <laughs> Real. No, we're good. That's good. We're keeping it. It's in. It's in. Oh, no. It makes it more natural this way. Not, it's not rehearsed. Yeah. We can prove that this is not rehearsed. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next Bye, time. Bye, guys. Bye.